How frequently do you see a shooting star in a year? Once? Or perhaps twice? The month of October has brought you something extraordinary. It's the 2022 Oranids Meteor Shower. For almost 40 days, the Meteor Shower will provide a breathtaking display of shooting stars for everyone on Earth. A meteor shower is formed by a stream of debris created by the breakup of comet fragments. These meteor showers occur annually because the Earth travels through these streams every year. This time, it comes from the famed Halley's Comet's debris. We will be able to see the comet's debris as shooting stars as they plummet toward the Earth. A bit of trivia. The majority of shooting stars will weigh between 150 and 500 grams, or 3.5 and 18 ounces and they may burn up between 80 and 100 kilometers, or 50 to 60 miles, above the Earth's surface. Because the radiant point of the shower will be in the vicinity of the Orion constellation, it is known as the Orionid Meteor Shower. About 15 to 20 meteors per hour are anticipated to be produced by the shower. The likelihood of seeing a shooting star is therefore very high. The Orionid Meteor Shower will be active from 2 October to 7 November, producing its peak rate of meteors around 21 October. Now let's have a look at the key Meteor Shower locale's peak night timings. San Francisco Seattle Los Angeles Denver Austin Oklahoma City Chicago Nashville Ottawa New York, Boston, Santiago, Brasilia, Rio de Janeiro, Madrid, London, Paris, Rome, Dubai, Lahore, Mumbai, New Delhi, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Manila, Sydney, Auckland. It is crucial to keep in mind that this year's shower will take place quite close to the night of the new moon, which makes this meteor shower even more special. This has led to great euphoria among many space enthusiasts. Bonus tips for viewing shooting stars. Meteors will be harder to see in cities due to heavy light pollution. The optimum location is, therefore, on the outskirts, where there is less pollution and little to no obstructing construction. Pay attention to the meteor's color. The chemical makeup of the meteor heavily influences its coloration. A sodium meteor will not resemble an iron meteor at all. Never see the meteor shower with a telescope or pair of binoculars. These tools are designed for frail and still bodies. Before stargazing outside at night, give your eyes at least 30 minutes to adjust to the darkness. If you want to take pictures of the shower, try to keep the brightness on your devices at a minimum. And last but not least, be patient. Patience is the key. Bring your family and friends to your roof or garden to enjoy this incredible display of the stars. Remember to make a wish when you see a shooting star. I hope you have a lovely night of stargazing under clear skies. Please let us know if you see a shooting star in the comments section. Thank you for staying with us. I wish you well in your astronomical endeavors, and I hope you truly enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing the channel if you liked the video, and as always, thanks for watching.